Dissociative seizures can look like epileptic seizures or faints, but they aren't the same. While epileptic seizures are caused by a sudden, abnormal electrical discharge in the brain, dissociative seizures may be explained by a process called dissociation. It's as if the brain has been temporarily switched off. Dissociation describes the feeling of being cut off or disconnected from your surroundings or your own body. The feeling of dissociation is very common and happens to all of us. It can be mild, like when you're daydreaming, or when you're concentrating on something and don't hear someone speaking to you. Dissociation can also be more severe. This is what happens in a dissociative seizure. Medication to treat epilepsy is ineffective for dissociative seizures. There's no consistent treatment pathway in the UK for patients with dissociative seizures, so a study called the CODES trial was developed to identify what treatments work best. The trial was conducted across England, Scotland and Wales, and was the largest trial to date for people with dissociative seizures. Everyone in the study was first seen by a neurologist, then a psychiatrist. This was called standardised medical care. The neurologist established and shared the diagnosis of the patient. The psychiatrist got to know the person better, establishing factors that provided a way forward for treatment. 186 people of a total of 368 were allocated at random to also be seen by a cognitive behavioural therapist. Cognitive behavioural therapy, or CBT, is a talking therapy, here aiming to improve control over seizures and helping people re-engage with everyday activities. Our main outcome was how often people had seizures. Twelve months after starting the trial, both groups had similar numbers of monthly dissociative seizures. However, patients who received CBT did better than patients with just standardised care on a range of measures. They had longer periods between seizures, were less bothered by their seizures, reported better health and felt better able to function in everyday situations. They and their doctors also considered that they had improved more than patients who hadn't been offered CBT and these patients were more satisfied with their treatment. In other measures, there wasn't any difference between the groups. The CBT group didn't show an advantage in terms of reduced numbers of seizures, but the CODES trial showed that having CBT, in addition to being seen by a neurologist and a psychiatrist, may improve how people with dissociative seizures feel about themselves, their health and their seizures.